and welcome back to the tea break. Mm, hello, yes, and with me, Juliet Borden, who's been telling me all about her crazy sewing book, and uh, which makes sewing fun. It's a smashing book with lots of ideas, and uh, it's in fact two pounds twenty-five. Yes. And it's got thirty original ideas in it, but yes. from that. You make lots of other things. There are things. lots of other things you can make. Yes. And they're graded too, as we explained earlier. So if you um, were just starting, then you'd do the, the ideas that had one dot next to them. And when you get a bit better, you can move on to two dots. And, and then, then the heady heights of three dots. Yes, there's not many three dots. You're going to show us a, a one dot now. Yeah. An this, example of a one dot. This is from this piece of ribbon which is 50 centimetres long, you can make one earring like the ones I'm wearing. Um, to make a pair of earrings you need 100 centimetres of ribbon. And you do a line of running stitches down the centre of it. Mm -hmm. um, so you need a needle and thread and you also need uh, an earring back. And then what you do is once you've done your line of stitches, you just pull it like this. Oh, make sure that you do put a knot in the other end, otherwise what's going to happen when I pull this is it's all going to come apart. Oh, yeah. But it isn't. It? So you pull it <coughs> like this, then when you've pulled it nice and tight, what you do is you then coil it. It's very, very simple. So as, when it's as tight as it can be, you just coil it round and round and round like this. And then with the end of your needle and thread, you just sew it through each bit, so you're going right through the centre of it. So you're pulling it nice and tight. And if you do that a couple of times, see it's very... You haven't got to be it's particularly clever, skilled it? to do this. Yes, it's... it's really, uh, we, we are having a conversation, actually, before, um, also about whether boys would be interested in sewing. And on the front cover there's a, there's a young boy that's sewing. Yes. But um, I think a lot more boys would, would take sewing and actually have that sort of um, instruction at school these days as well. And girls yeah. showing the same kind of things. Mind you, I'm not so sure that a, a young chap should make earrings and wear them. I shouldn't. Well, my son made the chef's hat the other week. Yeah, but it's not, it's not quite the same as earrings, is it? No, it Come isn't. Come on, Julia, no, let's be he, serious. Well, he likes wearing my earrings, <laughs> if he gets the chance. Yeah. Anyway, um, now you sew it onto the back, yes. like that, which I won't do now, and, but that's very easy. It's a couple of stitches, and then you have an earring. Great. So, um, and you're going to show us the mouse as well, which is right. also a one dot. Yes, the mouse. Now, to make a mouse, you don't need very much. All you need are a um, little piece of material, which you cut into that sort of triangular shape, but it's got the pattern in the book mm, instructions, in the yeah. exact size. Yes. A couple of circles of felt and you just draw around a 2P. A little, almost a straight piece, it's slightly um, wedge shaped. That's his tail. For his tail. I guessed that. And a pin, if you're going to make him into a brooch. He doesn't have to be a brooch. And a little button for the nose. Titchy witchy, can yes. you see that? Yeah. And if you want to have eyes as well, you <coughs> use another couple of buttons. And what you do is you... You need another two, three blind mice. <laughs> Sorry, yes, Julia. Yes, right. and then what you do is you fold your fabric with the right sides together like that so that what you get is, in fact, this. And then once you've sewn that down there, you then turn it around the other way like that. And you really need a sharp implement like a pencil or a pen or something to push through the point because if you don't do that, you're going to get a very wedge-shaped nose. Flat nose. Yes, a mouse so that's got a, to, a broken it nose. It isn't going to look so good. And then you get either bits of wadding like I've got here, or cut up your mother's old tights, or um, <laughs> your school socks. Yes. No, Sorry, Mum, I didn't realise there were the new ones, yeah. Uh, or cotton wool, and then oh. you just push it inside like this, and when you've got lots in there, you then do a line of running stitches. Whoops around the bottom of your mouse, your cone shaped, and then you pull that Oops. up tight like that, and all the stuffing is in there, like that. Mm -hmm. And then you get your glue and you put it on, first of all you glue the tail onto the base like that, and then you glue that onto the bottom there, Oops. turn it round, when that's on the bottom. Yes. Sew your ears on and sew your little nose on. Oh, and then you get him. Little mousey. 
Yes, it's smashing actually. It's quite simple, isn't it? I mean, I it's think I very, can handle that. It's very, very simple. Yeah. That's, that's, that's and not... uh, you can and make a sort of set of them to go on your shoulders. <coughs> and as we ex explained earlier, or as I tried to explain earlier, um, there are instructions for literally how to, to do a running stitch, a back stitch, a hem stitch. Yes. And uh, detailed instructions um, of how to go about it from, from the very beginning. Yes. Which is uh, really quite a comprehensive it isn't, guide. It isn't just toys and things. There's also some fashion items, I mean, for children who are slightly older and want to make things like, you know, hats. I mean, some of these sorts of things. Oh, that's great. It's yeah. natty. What, 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 um... I mean, how much would it cost to make that? Um, well, it depends what you make it out of. I mean, you can... Oh, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, if no, you made no, it no, out of... No. I mean, you can get out of the market and you can buy a metre of fabric for pound fifty or something, and yes, I reckon you could make a hat for one fifty or even So you less. could make ten hats, really, for one fifty if it was a metre? Quite, quite, quite a lot. Mm, no, have a hat no, factory. No. Yes, we could have a hat factory. But yes. it is, it is, it's cheaper. Really a lot cheaper. Do. Oh, yeah. And also, it's just having things that are just yours and not everybody else's. You mm. know, no, people aren't going to all have the same because yeah. you're going to put your bit of style on it. What I want to show everyone just before we go is this, which is it's really very, very pretty uh, embroidered cat. Really smashing, which you must have worked a long, long time on. Yes. Um, that was my cat. It's lovely. Juliet Borden, thank you very much for coming and talking well, to us. Well, it was fun. Thank and, you. And uh, I hope your book gives, I'm sure it will give people lots and lots of um, ideas about sewing. Right. Thanks very much. Now it's time to catch up with Popeye the Sailor Man.